here in honor of the 25th anniversary of Out of the Cellar, you guys performed the full album. What was that like going out and performing that in its entirety? And were there any tracks that you guys haven't played live before? I think uh, a song called She Wants Money on Out of the Cellar, I think that was the first time we've ever played it live, so 25 years later. Uh, it was it was a really interesting experience for me because it we would get to certain parts of the songs and it would just kind of spark memories that, that I had, you know, from playing, from touring that record in 1984. Like, um, you know, we were, uh, you know, out of the cellar, it had been out for a few weeks and um, we were uh, supposed to do a, a live TV show back then called uh, uh, Rock House, which was on every week. And uh, all the bands were on it, you know, Quiet Riot was on it. And, and um and and everyone had seemed to to, to have a uh you know an, an episode on there and we missed ours because uh we, we had to cancel and uh and there was a you know just this fluke opportunity where we 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 uh, they just flew the band out someone drove a truck with the with the equipment for two days to uh, Salt Lake City and we we uh you know they they threw us up there uh on the uh, Ozzy Motley Crew tour and uh we you know got up there and did you know 25 minutes and they they recorded it and and uh it was broadcast on that show and you know that was one of the turning points for the band that uh you know it it just uh added to the momentum of a of a really uh you know sort of crazy year um you know moments like that just uh you know where it was just uh you know anything could happen and it did uh, so it, you know it was, it was it was cool. You know, we, we, during the song, like for example, uh, scene of the crime. You know, Robin Crosby does. You know, does the the the, uh, the guitar line intro, and um, you know, it just brought back the memories of performing that song live. And uh, and Robin actually used to play that song in a in a former band before he joined Rat, and uh, and I used to go see them all the time. So you know, it was a really nice thing. So it was sort of a tour of memories for you guys as well as the fans. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, it wasn't memories that, that I forgot about, but it was. It was interesting because every single night, the, the same one would sort of, you know, replay in my mind. You know, when when we would get to a certain part, you know, um, we would close the set with scene of the crime. So when we did the guitar intro with the, you know, with the with the sustaining chords, I'm sustaining the you know the D chord, and Robin Robin's doing the uh, sort of that that, that cycling uh, melody line. Um, you know, it's just it's it just. I flashed on, you know, moments of of seeing, uh, you know, Robin Crosby play at, at my high school graduation or, at a, you know, a uh, a football game after party, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so it was it was really uh, it was a, it was a very very uh, very nice thing. And looking back on the 25 years or so that you guys, I mean, it's actually been closer to 30 with all the playing you guys have been doing over the years, but. In the 25 years that Rat's really been a prominent force, are there any other memories that really stand out over that period of your career? Um, you know, it was it was kind of a if it if it could happen, it did happen. You know, I mean, we we went from uh, you know sharing a, a one bedroom apartment, Robin Crosby, Stephen Piercy, and me in North Culver City, and uh, you know just having really you know none of us had jobs, so it was like you know. They, we sort of passed the time working on song ideas, and you know the, these songs ended up went on to be Round and Round and Wanted Man, and right. and uh, you know the morning after you're in trouble, you know the you know the stuff that com- a lot of the stuff that comprised uh, out of the cellar, um, and we had no idea where these songs were going to take us, but but um, you know that 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 period in time was just uh, you know just just filled with with. Uh, you know, amazing uh, contrast. Sort of a magical time for you guys. So yeah, with the drop date a month away, what are you? I know you just said a little bit ago how busy you are. What are you guys doing in preparation for the album to drop? And then I assume there's a spring summer tour in the works. What details can you give us? Well, we decided to do something kind of special, and and uh, we we're, we're going to do a, a show. We're going to have a record release party at uh, at the at the same location that uh you know was uh, the club called Gazaris where where rap first performed on the Sunset Strip uh in 1981 uh it was sort of the you know the very first real you know show in sort of uh 
you know, a very historical area. So we're, we're going back and on April 20th, we're going to play it, uh, have a record release party there, and we're going to get up and play some new stuff from uh, Infestation. And then um, we're going to do a few warm-up shows, and, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, kind of similar to the way we recorded the record, we're going to do something different, um, start the tour in Europe. So um, the first gigs are going to be uh, Sweden Rock Fest on June 10th, uh, Finland Open Air on, on June 12th, and uh, and uh, Donington Download in England and, uh, on the 13th. So, you know, we, we're, really, we're really looking forward to, uh, you know, getting together with old friends in, in Europe and, uh, and, and, and uh, you know, exploring new, new, uh, new places. And when can the fans stateside uh, look to see you guys again? Well, the, Euro the European tour is probably going to take us, um, take a, have a, you know, we'll be doing that till mid-July. So I think by August we should be, uh, you know, we should be uh, in the States and, and uh, working our way east. Wonderful, absolutely. And it, it is truly just a great album. Um, it just slips right back in there into the original collection of the stuff that really puts you guys on the map. So you guys have truly outdone yourself with this. Do you have any final words and thoughts for our listeners? Well, I just want to say thanks to, to everyone that, uh, you know, that, that kept asking us to, uh, you know, to, to, to keep working on new material and to, and to keep, you know, to keep it going, uh, it's 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 that really uh, ends up, you know, being the the the, uh, the glue that kind of holds the band together, uh, you know, through the tough tougher times. And uh, I just want to say thanks to to all those people. Warren, thanks so much for taking the time. Keep ratting and rolling, and we'll see you on the other side. Whoa!